We're gonna put the front axle together. We have brake kit here from Willwood. We have hubs from Weld. We have spindles. We have our Eagle axle here. I think we've got everything we need. We've got tie hardware for everything. I think we're ready to get started. Fire it up, guys. What are you gonna do first? Should we do spindles first? Is there such a thing as drag on the spindle turning? Does that affect your setup? Yeah, I mean, that kind of hurts the steering because then the steering box has to work harder, then you get more wear and tear on that kind of stuff, you know. You always kind of want to make sure that everything runs nice and smooth, and that way there's less resistance on everything, and just kind of makes your day in the driver's seat a lot easier. Mm -hmm. These are required this year for certain sanctioning bodies, right? Yeah, correct. What that one does is it just keeps the two spindles tied together. If, the, if you run into something, flip, whatever, the axle snaps, the hub assembly can't leave the car. We got a wrench here. Probably three quarter. Did we guess right? I guess these bolts don't spin in here, do they? They'll spin. So I wrench. guess we should just do one, one at a time. Yeah. So the bolt doesn't turn free inside the... It'll spin with a wrench, it won't, it's not easy. It's just the cable's really tight on there. And these replace the little aluminum Correct. Yeah, bolts so we just, that are supposed to go in the bottom yeah. of the kingpin. Yeah, we'll just leave those aluminum bolts off. So we'll assemble the brake rotor to the hub. And then Allen wrench for that too, boss. Yeah, that's probably 5 sixteenths. Let's see if he's right. Who thinks he's right? Uh, oh, this is gonna be a test now? Five sixteenths, he was right. Is titanium more important on the rotating unsprung? It's roughly a 10 to one. If it's just dead weight on the car, if you take one pound of dead weight off, you'd only have to take a 10th of a pound of rotating weight off to make the same difference. Need that Allen wrench there, see if that fits these. Nope, we're gonna need a Next size up. Is he going to guess in size yeah. again? Probably a quarter inch on this one. Okay. Uh, he's so Not far. Even. He's two for two. Oh, you were wrong. Oh. oh. 730 seconds, Tom. Oh, you know, I probably have another wrench if you would like to. No, I'm fine. I, I like, I'm You just want to take this. a break? Well, here, <laughs> let me see if I can find you one. There we go. Oh, I'm Boy. sorry. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> That lens is coming out of your next eight paycheck. <laughs> now the hubs are assembled, now we need to pack bearings. The time-honored tradition of bearing packing. This is usually like the first thing that young car people learn how to do because the dads and uncles and grandpas don't want to do it. So like, <laughs> here, you, here's a glob of grease. Good luck. <laughs> and it makes one heck of a mess. But. When all the grease comes out the top, you know you got it fully packed. So we're gonna assemble these hubs and then we're gonna do the steering arms. Do you need a dead blow hammer? Yeah, if you got one. If I pull the bearings out to repack, I might put new seals in. Look at that. Boom, that's all it took is a two by four. Steering arms, we gotta put them on because the bolts come through. So, Tie rod drag link. Yes. And the the bolt for the Heim just threads right into the arm. That's cool. Well, we'll use, we've got the stud kit. Uh -huh. So they'll thread in and then okay. just one nut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have a procedure for setting the? Yeah, usually I just snug it up until it starts to feel like it's getting a little bit tight back it off just a little bit and then uh, see what I got for holes that are lined up. There we go. All right, so once the hubs are assembled, then we assemble the tie rod. And there was a, a contentious debate about whether we were using silver or black tie rods and drag links and radius rods, and everybody has their opinion. But we're making all of the tubes on the car silver. polished or silver, including the nerfs. Again, because I'm obsessed with the TMC car. That's basically what that comes down to. And you're just chasing in case there got to be any powder coat or anything in these 
yeah, powder coat or burr. You know, these steel ones usually aren't all that bad. The aluminum ones, you gotta tap. every time I tap them, I just... Nanite sees is that magical substance that as soon as you open the lid, like people in the next room somehow have it on their arms. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> wash out of anything. <laughs> What do we have to do now? Calipers. Oh, caliper. Yeah, that's an important part. All right, done. Well, thank you guys. We'll catch up with you both a little bit later on. I think next time we're gonna mount this.